Here we're going to look at question 16 from section 2 of the BMAT 2018 paper. So in this question we're told about triangular numbers. Uh, we're given some examples of them, with the first just being represented by 1, the second being represented by 3, uh, the third being 6, the fourth being 10. And they're shown here as being triangular numbers because they make triangles. And when you put the, num uh, like the like value of the uh, triangular number out in dots, um, it also then tells us the difference between these numbers, which is uh, just being 2, 3, and 4. Um, before finally telling us the difference between the rth and the r plus 3th um, triangular number is 126. So what the question um, does is it asks us to find r uh, in this case here. So if you'd like to have a go at this yourself, then just please pause the video now. Um, otherwise, let's have a go at it together. Okay. So, um, obviously the differences of these triangular numbers are quite important since they've been outlined to us specifically. Um, so let's try and think about the differences between the numbers which you've actually been given. Since we're being asked about the difference, I will be told sorry about the difference between these numbers. So if we do count from um, r up to r plus 3, then we can call the distance between r and r plus 1 just d. And then if we follow the same pattern which we were shown um, in the question, in the information in the question, then we can guess that the next difference is going to be d plus 1 and d plus 2 uh, being the next difference after that. So, since the information we were actually told is that the difference between r and r plus 3 is 126, then we know that these, this, uh, these differences, sorry, when added together, should give us 126. So, what we could do um, is collect together all the terms on the left hand side and then solve this for d. Um, which is going to give us a d of 41, or a difference between r and r plus 1 of 41. But why is this actually useful? Well, if we go back and look at our quest, uh, the information given in the question, we see the difference between the first and the second is 2, and the second and the third is 3, third and fourth is 4, and so on. So, the difference actually corresponds to the number which the difference is just going to. So, if we're going from r to r plus 1, and the difference is 41, then it means that r plus 1 must be 41. Um, therefore, to find r, all we've got to do is just take one from both sides, giving us an r value of 40, which is going to correspond to answer b given in the question.